Hey guys, welcome to Meaningful Manny's episode two. Before I jump right on into my awareness, Manny, I wanted to apologize for not having any uploads for you guys last week. If you're a part of my Facebook group, then you already know what went down. I had like eight hours of videos recorded and I went to bed one night and woke up and my phone had at some point during the night shut off and when I turned it back on all my pictures all my videos everything just gone just, I lost all of it I was so sad and with it being the holiday I had family up I just didn't have even a minute to sit down and film anything so that's why you didn't see anything from me last week and I apologize however I'm gonna move on to my Manny here. Um, real quick, just want to tell you if there's anything you would like to see me do in Awareness Manny 4, I have a email linked down below that you can send me your stories, anything you want to send me that you'd like to see me do a Manny on, go ahead and email it to me. I will leave my email up here for you as well. So I have no issues with doing more than one Awareness Manny per month. This Manny I'm doing now is for blood donor awareness, but I do know that January is also cervical health as well as thyroid awareness. So if either of those have any meaning to you whatsoever, shoot me an email with your story, the awareness colors, or I can look those up. I do my research for these videos. I have pages and pages of information, some that I know personally, some that I found online. Um, I try to devote the whole length of these videos to giving out information. Some, like I said, is personal to me. Um, a good bit of the videos I plan to do, you know, I went through with my husband when he was still here. Some of them I'm still learning, but I am doing my research. I am trying to use my platform for good and just enlighten people about stuff that, you know, isn't talked about as it should be. So if cervical health or thyroid issues run in your family, if they are life altering for you, um, you can be anonymous. I don't need to tell everyone who you are, but if you would like for me to do a video, shoot me an email and let me know. So now I'm going to get into this Meaningful Manny. Um, I'm not going to talk about the products that I'm using right now. I will leave everything linked down below for you if you're interested. So obviously this is going to be my Manny for Blood Donor Awareness Month. If by the time you were done watching and listening to this video, you want to either educate yourself some more or you want to learn how you can become a blood donor as well. I will leave a link in the description box to redcross.org. You can head over to their website. You can search and find out where local blood drives are in your area with the pandemic. I'm not really sure how those are running as of right now, um, but you can also find some really good information over on their site as well, kind of like some facts and myths and all that kind of really informative stuff. So I am a blood donor. I've been a blood donor since I was 16 in high school, 15, 16. Um, but I will be completely honest with you, back in high school, I signed up to do it to get out of class once or twice a year. So that's why I did it back then. I don't know. I liked the idea of getting out of class. It only took 10 minutes to give blood. And then you had a good like 15, 20 minutes of just snacking on cookies and juice and hanging out with my friends in the cafeteria because that's where they always seem to do the blood drives at. Um, but when I got older, kind of fresh out of high school, I met my husband. So I kind of just continued it because it actually meant something more to me when I met my husband and learned about all of his health issues, I just realized how very important it is 
to give blood, even though it seems like such a little thing. Um, but there's a ton of people, millions of people who need blood on a daily basis. Some people require transfusions for the rest of their life. Um, I know different diseases cause people, you know, to require blood often. My husband was not one of those people. He didn't need blood. He actually only had um, blood transfusion once. It was multiple of them kind of over the course of like two days when he had a heart attack in the hospital a couple years ago. Um, he needed blood because he was losing blood internally somewhere and they couldn't figure it out. Um, and it wasn't until he got the stents in his heart that they were able to, not able to, but to where he didn't require the transfusions anymore. So obviously that made it, that made it a little bit more real to me and showed me how important it was. Not to mention, you probably don't realize this, but it's actually painful for the patients to receive blood transfusions if they are conscious enough, like my husband, by the time they got him up to ICU and started to do his blood transfusions, he was a little bit more aware. But his was a emergency, like it happened very quick. So they were pumping him with ice cold blood, which if you can imagine, that's painful. Like if you're just standing outside in like 20 degree weather or whatever, it's freezing, your fingertips start to get, you know, cold or whatever. It's like that on the inside is how he explained it to me. So it's even painful for the recipients to receive the blood, even though they're so thankful because in that moment, that is what is keeping them going, keeping them alive. So that is the one time that my husband actually required a transfusion, but as soon as I met him, my husband, I learned that, you know, he had already been a kidney and pancreas recipient. Um, so to me, just, I wanted to donate as much as I could, as often as I could, because when it hits home like that, it just, it means more. And I think that that makes you want to help other people more. Because I know for me, I would never want even my worst enemy to experience a quarter of what I went through with my husband, what my husband went through, any of that type of stuff. So that is why this Manny means so much to me. I apologize if you can hear my emotion, but I'm going to keep it real because these awareness Mannies are important. So that is the only bit I'm going to say about my husband because I can't make this whole entire video about him. I, I won't make it through it. So I'm going to move on and give you guys some information that I've learned. A good bit of this did come from redcross.org, their website, just because I felt like they were the most reliable for this information. Um, but I actually learned a lot while I was doing my research about all of this. So I want to share first the little bit that I learned that was the most mind-blowing to me is just one person donating blood, giving blood. You can potentially save up to three people's lives with just one donor giving blood. Three people. It could be somebody's mom, somebody's dad, brother, sister, daughter, a baby. I mean, you just, you never know. But what was most, most mind-blowing to me was in the U.S., every two seconds, someone could potentially need a blood transfusion. So if you do the math with this video, this video is 21 minutes and 23 seconds, which breaks down to 1,283 seconds is the whole duration of this video. If you divide that by two, that is 641 people that will need a blood transfusion by the time you're done watching this video, if you watch the whole entire video. I was gonna go on and give you a little bit more information before I stopped and let you guys watch, but 
641 people over the duration of this video is crazy. So I am going to let you guys watch, let that marinate and sink in, and I'll be right back. So I hope that little break that that 641 people, I hope that that sank in and just made you feel something because I know I needed a little break after that number. That's crazy. So I'm just curious. Do you know anybody who has ever needed a blood transfusion? Have you ever needed one? Because with that many people, I mean, you have to know somebody or have known somebody, right? I, I would think. I know my husband did. I know couple other people who have required blood transfusions before. I know a friend of mine got in a car accident once and he needed it. Um, it's crazy. Just, it's so weird because it's such a little, a little thing. I don't think that people think a whole, whole lot about donating blood or if they do, they don't really think about it too much. It's just something that you kind of go and do. And then when it's over, it's like out of sight, out of mind type of thing. Um, I don't know. It's just so weird when you actually take the time to research these things, which kind of makes me really glad that I decided to do this series on here because I personally am learning so, so much. And it kind of, I don't know, kind of makes me feel good because I feel like I am helping and I'm learning and it's making me more sympathetic to those people who go through this. Um, like I said, there are people who require blood transfusions due to certain diseases and will require them for the rest of their life. They will have to go to a clinic and sit there and get these blood transfusions or plasma or platelets depending on whatever disease you have. I know sickle cell is one um, that can require you to need a blood transfusion. Before my husband passed away, he was back on the kidney transplant list. And I'll say the same thing about that that I read about the blood donations. There's not enough people that donate. Like my husband passed away waiting on an organ that could have came from anyone. And the same goes with blood. There's only 3% of people who are of age to actually donate that actually donate a year. 3%. That's it. That's it. So I am going to talk a little bit now about the Manny just because I am doing some designs. I will leave a link to this plate down below. This is going to be my go-to stamping plate pretty much for all of my awareness videos just because I can make these ribbons any color that I want them to be and it just has some really great inspirational type of script on here like stay strong, fight like a girl for you know breast cancer. Um, just all those types of really great and encouraging things. So I was so excited. Carol Nett actually sent me the link to this plate and I was so, so glad that she was. So obviously organ donation color is red. I'm just going to slap some red, red stamped ribbons on here. On my ring finger, I am going to do a little bit of nail art just because I actually, I don't know, I wanted to do some nail art because I feel like it's a special Manny. I'm going to put effort into it. So I have this, I believe it's Hey Gorgeous. It is a really pretty red from Nail Addict, which is a gel polish. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my little nail art palette. I cannot leave a link for my nail art palette because I made it. <laughs> Got a little bored with a little bit of builder gel that I had left over. Um, and I just kind of stuck it on the back of a nail form and cured it. And well, before I cured it, I stuck some glass butterflies and gold flakes in there. 
and it works really great for a nail art palette. This is a little calligraphy pen that I got off of Amazon. It's really neat because you can actually write script if you wanted to and it has some dotting tools. So if I can still find this, I will leave it linked down below. But this is what I'm going to use to make my big blood drop on my nail. So I will let you guys, well I'm not going to go anywhere, but you guys can watch as I talk. I don't really need to explain what I'm doing. It's pretty simple. Just drawing a blood dot that I'm going to stamp my take on B positive. Um, kind of a spin on actually being positive and supportive and B positive also is my blood type. So I thought it worked out really, really well. I have a good like three pages worth of research that I've done all about blood donation. I know I'm not gonna get through all of it. I knew when I was writing it down, I wasn't gonna get through all of it. Um, but I hope that you guys at least take away a little bit. And if you watched my first awareness, my first Meaningful Manny, um, then you probably remember seeing all the comments and everyone sharing their stories. It was so, it was beautiful and it was overwhelming in the best possible way. Um, it was for diabetes. If you didn't watch that first episode, I will leave it linked up in the cards for you. So go definitely check it out. Um, I also do plan on making a playlist just so if you want to reference back or binge watch all of the episodes for this series, you will be able to do that as well. But if you have a little story about blood donation or you know somebody who is a recipient of blood or platelets or plasma, um, I would love to hear your story down in the comments and if you would join me in doing a Red Manny this January and posting it on Instagram and doing a little hashtag blood donor awareness and tag me in it because I would love to see them. I just want to see, I don't know, I just want to see more positive, more supportive types of things in this new year and hopefully you guys do as well. So I went ahead and I did my blood drop on my ring finger I cured it for, I believe I cured it for a minute, and now I'm just going in with some rubbing alcohol and wiping away the little sticky tacky layer, and now I'm just going to stamp with some black stamping polish, just the letter B, and then the word positive that you can see up in on the left hand side there, and I'm just going to put that randomly over my blood drop, so that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to hush for a little bit because I've talked through a lot of this video. I hope that it's not too overwhelming. That's why I actually, I don't really want to say too, too much more because I don't want to overwhelm anyone. Um, but like I said, if you want to educate yourself some more, I will leave that link for redcross.org. You can go check them out. Educate yourself, learn more. They have tons of really good educational information on there, but I'm gonna go and let you guys watch.
right, so I went ahead and applied my Triple D Gel Top Coat over all of my nails, and I cured it for 60 seconds. And now I'm just going in with my Candy Skincare Cuticle Oil and rehydrating my cuticles, and I will rub that in really, really good. And I hope you guys like this Manny. I absolutely love how this one turned out. This is definitely, definitely one of my favorites probably because I don't know I feel like the manis that really mean something they just hold a special place in my heart I love how this turned out so you guys will have to let me know what you think thank you guys so so much for watching I hope you took a little bit away from this video but I will see you all in my next one bye guys